hello to all. I'm so, so glad to be speaking to you again. I've been very busy. Lots of wonderful things to tell you. Well, um, I'm sure many of you have been feeling the vibrations rising and awakening to your higher selves as many of you have been writing and telling me about your experiences, and I thank you for that. Um, I am putting this video together today because I something phenomenal has been occurring, and I really would like to speak up on it. Um, basically, we're here in Brooklyn, pardon the uh, air pollution. February when light beings from the Pleiades came down and set up the star path as I was speaking upon, or the tap route. And I'd like to speak more upon this because we have now had our first visitor come through on this beautiful, blessed star path, and we're getting some very interesting information from my gar guardians and masters, as I call them. Um, Basically, back in February, for those of you who haven't watched that video, we had some light beings come in who were working with the higher realms that I resonate within, and they came down to upgrade us, to realign our chakras, open up the light from within, and set up energy centers in our home that uh, would allow them to be with us in, in more energetic form while, you know, while they were gone and back to the galaxy. Um, it's very interesting because I, you know, I was channeling a while back and I asked them if there was any way that they would be coming back again. And they said, yes, we'll be back in the middle of July. So I thought, okay, great. So I waited patiently. All of a sudden, on the 12th of July in the morning, I, right on time, <laughs> I was just checking my email in the morning when all of a sudden I felt a presence step into the room and immediately recognized it as one that I knew as well. And later, a couple hours later, um, channeled and confirmed, yes, my suspicions that one of my guides, Elijah, had come through and is with us in a very close dimension. He's resonating in the fifth right now, but comes from a much higher frequency realm. Um, and he is literally working next to me <laughs> and helping me give people more of the infinite knowledge that I'm so blessed and able to tap into. And I'm very thankful for that. And we all have that ability. Um, basically, he has been telling me more about the star path, which is one of the things I really want to talk about. I've been getting a lot of other information too, which I will give you, but the coolest part I want to tell you now, because it's very exciting. Um, basically, he says that he was able to get, because I was like, how did you get here? How did you get so close to me like this? And he said that he had come down on the star path, and that basically now we've created a gateway for all of the with the star path for them to travel on to come down to be close to me. And he told me, it's very interesting, um, a lot of old sorcerers believe, uh, such as Don Juan in Carlos Castaneda's book, I'm sure many of you have heard of him, um, he speaks about how many seers who can see energy of people see the energy as some kind of luminous ball, whether it's an orb or a kind of tombstone shape, or even some people have an egg-like shape around them. But all of them have a taproot that goes down to the center of the earth. And it's like we drag this with us, but it's all light, an auric field around us. So this is our root, so to speak. This is what grounds us to the planet. Now, when they came down to establish the star path connection, they connected the star path through my route because that's I was sending it out, my frequencies out to where I resonate the most. Once again, 
and I said <laughs> I was sending out my frequencies to the star that resonates with me most, which is Alcon in the Pleiades constellation, and they have been able to root their frequencies, my own frequencies, back here with me so that I can establish a full and direct communication, which I have. Um, Elijah has given me upgrades, and I can now uh, channel with my eyes open, which is phenomenal and amazing, and things are coming much quicker to me now. Um, he spoke of a lot of us having dream work done with us, and that means the spirits would be coming to us in our dreams, us as in everyone who I share this lovely home with. And all of my housemates throughout the week have been having lucid dreams, very big, big dreams, where they are very awake and aware of what's going on. And they all have to do with our spiritual awakening and recognizing our higher selves and our, our connection to the source, to the divine light. Um, and I'm just going to stay on topic here, even though I have a lot more to tell you about. Um, the star path is amazing because basically it is, a, it is like a line. It is like a, a, a rope, whatever you want to call it, from the, the heavens above that is a connection point between your frequency and the frequen your source frequency, basically. But here's the thing. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard this and it's not going to blow you away, but I was totally blown away when he, when Elijah told me that all stars aren't just stars. The reason my star path is going back to Alcone is because Alcone, like every other star in our galaxy, is really a portal to the higher realm, um, to the high frequency realm, to the source. So. This is a whole other world, an energe energetic world, where only higher frequency beings can resonate and exist. Um, they said that one cannot pass through, the reason we are going through the ascension process is so that we can go into, we can energize, so to speak, or go into our energy body to pass through these star portals that we resonate with. So we're all going to different stars in the galaxy. I have so much to tell you, but I had to give one of the most exciting messages first. Watch the next one. <laughs>